Now, UK women's rights activist uh, Kelly J. Keane, also known as Posey Parker, has joined Maura Deeming in taking legal action against Victorian Liberal leader John Pesuto. Ms Keane has also issued defamation concerns notices against the ABC. The cases are heading to the federal court. Joining me now is Stephanie Bastian, research fellow at Women's Forum Australia. Stephanie, we've got another woman also, another woman's rights campaigner, Angie Jones, also taking legal action against John Pesuto. Surely he cannot remain leader of the Victorian Liberal Party. Well, Rita, thank you for having me on tonight. It has been nearly 12 months since the Let Women Speak rally and John Pesuto has not apologised to any of these women that he has defamed, Angie Jones, Moira Deeming, Kelly J. Keane, and he also hasn't condemned the violent trans rights activists who turned up to assault mm. women and to stop them from talking about their sex-based rights in public. John Basuto made a decision to use his position of power to throw these women to the wolves, and it, has, it has had an enormous impact on their lives. For, for Angie Jones, it was weaponised against her in divorce proceedings. It impacted her children's lives at school oh. and her role in the community. For Kelly J. Keane, the media for all followed her to New Zealand where she was subsequently assaulted and had to leave the country because of the threat mm. on her life. And, of course, we saw what unfolded with Moira Deeming, where she was unjustly and arguably unconstitutionally booted from the Liberal Party party room. So I am so pleased these women have the, are able to take him to... hold him to account in court, uh, for, as far as I'm concerned, unless he turns around and apologises and also reinstates Moira Deeming into the party room, he should not be leader. Well, the apology would want to be a grovelling one because what happened here is inexcusable, if you ask me. Um, I'm not a lawyer, but from what I've seen of, of these cases, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that Angie Jones has, has uh, joined this legal action because her case is, is particularly grievous. Um, but all three women... Uh, all he had to do was come out and stand by his MP who had done absolutely nothing wrong, who had told him she was going to this rally, who was speaking up about the rights of women. She wasn't there to uh, defame anybody, to, to spill bile or hate. She was there to stand up for women's rights and she was mercilessly attacked by Dan Andrews and instead of standing by what's right, standing by his MP, John Pursuta decided he was going to be even harsher on Moira Deeming than Dan Andrews was. He was going to treat her even worse and he released that dossier about her which seemed to be sourced mainly from Wikipedia. I mean, it was just amateur hour antics, if you ask me. Now, let's move on to uh, a recent case of a trans TikTok star who turned out to be a predatory pedophile who had uh, repeatedly abused two young children. The story has been reported widely, Stephanie, and you have taken issue with the way it's been reported. Explain to my audience why you consider some of this reporting or much of this reporting to be inaccurate in, in one key area. Well, Rita, it's not just inaccurate, it's incredibly harmful. So the media are reporting a male pedophile who abused two children who then transitioned or started wearing woman face after the fact to become this TikTok celebrity as a woman, as she. And part of the problem with the way that they're reporting this is it provides licence to these, these criminals, these offenders, to hide their identity. It's the reason that they're, they're going along with the narrative that these men, these predatory men, are women, and the consequences of that is that they're being put into women's prisons, women's spaces, it's just part of the protection racket. These men need to be reported as males. They need to have the pronouns he, him. They should not be permitted, they should not be indulged to be called women by the press. Stephanie Bastian, thank you so much for your time this evening.